Here's a little test, very interesting one, that is about how to get microtonal MIDI out of something that really doesn't like microtonal MIDI very much. So this is using a system I call MIDI 192, which takes the 16 channels of MIDI and um, assigns one sixteenth of a semitone uh, pitch bend to each channel. What this does means that uh, every time a note comes in with a certain frequency, we figure out how it fits into this 192 to an octave scale, and it assigns it to the correct uh, channel and plays it. And that's a little different from MPE, which um, has more uh, sophisticated pitch, um, you know, pitch uh, resolution, but unfortunately it doesn't have a whole lot of polyphony and I'm interested in both and so my compromise is with the pitch resolution for now um, so here's for example what one of these sounds like I'm, I'm gonna send this to to a BS 16 um, which is a polyphonic multi-timbral synthesizer Bismarck it's a sampler so it has no trouble figuring things out it doesn't have to do much calculation so it's pretty good. We're going to flip this over to edit so that I can change program channels and stuff. But right now, here is a, uh, with MIDI off, that's pretty boring, right? That's a normal, uh, normal bunch of notes, but we will change it, oof, to something with harmonics so that we can hear them. Uh, pretty obviously. So here we have, oh, 32 harmonics. Let's give it. So there we have, oop, sorry, we're not playing it. Let me squeeze this down a little bit, make a little bit of room here. Of course, doing this one-handed because I am. All right, so there we have it. C32, CH32 is my chord. We'll put it into play and Make this go down a little bit further. I don't know. It smells like just intervals that people recognize as just intervals. Let's see what happens when we we got the routing right. Now let's put it into MIDI. It is now. When I did that, it sent all the pitch bends to all 16 channels over in the other one. So. I'm going to play that a little louder. Piano might not be the best timbre to deal with this. timbre. So while it isn't perfect, it does get you something. And in fact for um, for pitches that are um, equal divisions of 12 or you know of uh that are like multiples of 12 so for example this one that's a 24 to the note octave here you kind of notice that because this is like a normal semitone and this is like a full tone all right let's go to midi That's a pretty awful sounding violin. So you can get a perfect one for uh, for those if you like that kind of music. You know, uh, Ezra Sims, he wrote in 72, that's going to work. Julian Carrillo, he wrote in 96, that's going to work. So you might be able to make something out of this. 
And depending on how powerful the machine is that you're running on, and this is running on an antiquated iPad 3 running iOS 9, you might be able to get some pretty powerful amounts of uh, synthesis going on. Maybe. Anyway, that's my report, and I will talk to you later.